Hello, everybody. It's time to wake up. Wake up, sheepies. It's Alan time. <laughs> Actually, it's fear and hunger time, and I am 100% ready. In fact, I wanted to show you some of the things I did in my last playthrough. <laughs> so I, I told you how easily scared I am when it comes to this game, right? You'll notice that there's no sound, and it's because I didn't forget to unmute it, but rather, I was so... I was so spooked by this game that I turned the master volume down to zero so it doesn't scare me. <laughs> but I, I do still have my old save files. I turned it back up to 100%. I'm, I'm, ready to, I'm ready to be scared. But I have my other save files. You see, I was trying to play as Karen and then I found her. Then I tried to play her. So I have... I have a bit of experience, but that's as far as it went, honestly. Like, I probably did the intro scene a couple times, trying to figure out how to play this game and dying. <laughs> Funger? Hey, Cyan! Are you ready for Funger? We're gonna start a new character, though. The music in this game is really good, though. I like that. I like what pops up. And you can see on the bottom right, it does say I'm using the sensor mod, because this game, as a forewarning, has a lot of pee-pees. <laughs> And it has a lot of allusions to um, Game Overs, if that makes sense. So, just as a content warning ahead of time, just to let you know, this game is very vulgar and very... Uh, mentally insane, I guess? I don't know. But here's the thing. I was thinking about, like, if I was going to play this game, maybe I should play as Jotaro. Literally looks like Jotaro. But I thought maybe I should let my chat decide. So for those who don't know, these are your cast of characters. If I don't, if I play as one character, then whoever I don't play as becomes party members. Or at least from what I could tell is like, like since I got her as a party member, they become party members in the future. So there's that. And I was wondering, is there anyone in particular chat you want to play? You want me to play as? In fact, Cyan, since you're here, you got the early bird special. You get to decide my character. Who do you think we should play as? Should we play as... Oh, they don't have names. Ex soldier, occultist. Let me see. Having fought in war since he was 13, ex soldier excels at range combat. He's great aim with most firearms. Guns. He's American. The occultist focuses on the creative use of otherworldly powers. While not strong and harmful, or not strong with offense, harmful and offensive skills, her abilities are no less impressive when used properly. The doctor's skill is set mainly focused is mainly focused in curing different status ailments and analyzing the possible weaknesses in enemy anatomy. Marco, please. Which one's Marco? The mechanic is adept at crafting her own makeshift weapons and traps. That actually sounds nice. Doug, Doug. Oh, Doug, Marco. Life in an underground boxing ring has taught this the boxer how to deal with opponents barehanded. The boxer excels at close quarter combats. You guys just want me to punch things? <laughs> Is it going to be harder than other people? I remember playing as her, and it was interesting because she doesn't have any, like, combat experience, I guess you could say. All right, we'll play Marco since since it's been decided. And that's going to decide at, what's it called? That's going to decide all our future, all our future thumbnails. All right, we're going to have to change it. How do I, how do I go back on this? Uh... Chat, how do I... How do I go back? Huh? I'm trying to press B. The, the, the cancellation button. I say Marco is a great star because he has skills in combat. How do I change his name? Oh! Oh! <laughs> You do it by keyboard. This game has keyboard support, so I could just type it in. Like that. I thought I had to like use this screen for it, and that's why I was wondering if there's a key for it. Hey Fenner, are you ready for the Alan's Bizarre Adventure? So I was thinking about this. I'm not doing max max masochism maxo masochism sism mode. I'm doing um what's it called? Fear and hunger mode. What what is the difference between easier mode? <laughs> I think fear and hunger has to be the mode. I feel like if we're gonna play fear and hunger, we gotta be fear 
and hungered. All right, I remember this. This was interesting for the journalist character. The soothing sound of rail, the rail tracks. We're not used to such peaceful and tranquil atmosphere. I think hit chance and dodge chance is change. Has it? Wait, what do you mean by it's change? Really? You can't. Oh, you mean in the easier mode. You're remin you reminisce about what led you to this point in your life. For the majority of life, you only known the streets of Vatican City. This is actually the first time in your life you're traveling this far from those narrow and crowded alleyways. Things don't look that fancy elsewhere. Traveling is overrated to uh, you think to yourself. In your earliest memories, you remember spending time with your parents, but then suddenly you just didn't have parents anymore. You can't remember what happened, but from one point onwards, it was just you and your sister against the world. Did I punch the world? The world though! You were only 10 years old, but you had to make a living somehow. I'm gonna live an honest life. I'm a good kid. <laughs> You tried different jobs. The only thing common with all of them was that you eventually messed things up and got fired, dang. Still, you were able to save up 10 shillings. That's money, I'm guessing. The streets schooled, the streets schooled you hard, but as you grew older, you noticed that you started to tower over those who bullied you before. If someone tried to get, do you dirty, you were quickly able to give them a taste of your justice. He is me, literally. Because of your size and skills in fighting, you started to attract attention of local street gangs that tried to recruit you as their muscle. This never sounded right to you. You had been extorted for your measly salaries too many times. You didn't want to do the same to anyone. But turning down small time crim criminals only got you to f into further trouble. Almost every other night you ended up in the street fights. At one point you realized that you were doing more fighting than actual work. Not to mention that's where you got most of your money too. Did I steal the money from them? <laughs> is it like Pokemon? I beat them up and I take their money? You started to consider fighting as a job. Maybe it would be more worth investing into more. You started to work out more regularly and follow a strict regimen. Stra train strength, build up bulk. <laughs> bulk up in mass, train your footwork, or train your stamina. We're gonna get some mass. We're gonna be massive. Thought you could resist punches. Oh, I just realized uh, it's a little cut off there. I don't know. The thing is, this game is not in... Um, high definition it's actually in standard 4-3 resolution so you start eating like a bear at least tripling your calorie intake Th that combined with weight lift weight lifting weights the sofa at your apartment dragging horse carriages with your body along with the resistance resistance exercise proved to have obvious effects you managed to increase your defense w with a couple of levels and then that kind of reminds me of my friend I, I i think i told this before but i had a friend who does karate and um, martial arts. In fact, they did martial arts so long, they actually got a belt to allow them to teach martial arts to somebody like legally. Like they actually are considered a sensei, a master. And he told me how when he was younger, in order to strengthen his skin, he would punch brick walls. He would break like the bones and the skin on his hand and it would like grow stronger when it heals. And like when I felt his hands, it was like really rough compared to mine. Apparently like I have baby hands. Well, not anymore. Like I had baby hands. <laughs> but my hands are a bit rough now too. <laughs> but yeah, he told me about how he punched um, walls back in high school. You're doing alright in fights. So much that you started to build a little reputation on the streets. So lesson here, if you want to get stronger chat, punch them walls. In no time, you moved on to underground boxing rings where there was more money on the table and less danger of the opponent pulling a knife in the middle of a match. While you were busy in the ring, your sister had grown into a beautiful young woman who attracted all kinds of admirers. It would have meant trouble if it wasn't for your mean reputation. Haha! <laughs> Most low-life thugs on the street knew that they have to answer to you if they tried anything dodgy. That didn't mean there weren't those who tried. She started to get close with a known mobster, Ricardo Ocardo. He was the heir to the Ocardo, the avocado of the family, a branch of the family. The family was an organized body of criminals operating the Vatican City. In all intents and purposes, the family was a mafia, but they had also had deep ties to the church, which in turn was running the country. So it was a bit complicated. Wow, this is very realistic. Despite being a mobster, Ricardo seemed decent enough. He had a flirtatious and flattering way of speaking and in general got along with everyone. He took notice in your skills and tried to casually recruit you to the ranks. He politely declined the offer. 
Since you didn't take the offer, Ricardo had another one on the platter. He'd propose he'd hook you up in a real box or with a real boxing trainer to get you to the next level. I'm leveling up. You again declined, but you, your sister insisted that you at least try it out. You agreed. Things started to feel more professional, and you, the second you stepped into the side of the gym, the trainer, an old elderly gentleman who had an impressive record of uh, previous apprentices, was impressed by your raw skill. He thought the best way to push you further would be to choose where to specialize. Accuracy, evasion, defense, and offense. I want to say defense, but I feel like this game is kind of... It's kind of setting me up to say, like, defense is a, a useless dumb stat. I guess maybe, like, when you think about it, it's like, you can't get... You, but then again, I already invested in defense. I might as well just go all in at this point, you know what I mean? But I feel like defense is going to be a dumb stat. Hmm... Let's go evasion. I feel like oh bob and weave. I feel like evasion, like if you can't get hit, that's a good thing. His methods prove effective. Soon you had your first real bout in the ring and won the match with relative ease. Your sister and Ricardo were there to congratulate you. You continue with your winning streak. The hype around you was growing. Slowly, even you started to believe in the hype. I am number one. Ricardo was able to organize big matches one after another. You started spending more time inside the family quarters with Ricardo and your sister. Oh, Ricardo's not a bad guy, even though he's a mobster. Without noticing, you've been pulled into the criminal world. I take it back. <laughs> what started as helping out a friend became a more frequent occurrence. Soon, Ricardo showed his true colors as well. He has been building you up for a faded boxing match. Apparently, your next opponent was a former family member who had cut all ties to the organization. Your job was to kill him in a boxing match. No spoilers in backseat gaming, right? Yeah, unless I ask for help, don't help me. I'm going to try to go through this as blind as possible. You politely declined, but at this point, there was no turning back. Ricardo reminded you that he got your sister back at his flat, and she'd feel it in her skin if you didn't comply. Ricardo, I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> you didn't know what to do. Soon you found yourself in the ring with an ex-family member in the bell ring. He was a tough opponent, but you managed to get the best of him. You were able to counter one of his attacks with a knockout hit. Things moved in slow motion as you saw Ricardo in the corner of your not in your corner, nodding with a sly smile. You followed up your hit with another, and another, and another, and another. You didn't even stop when the man hit the ground. The referee had to pull you away with all he got before you stopped. The damage was already done. You had killed a person. Oh man. You were devastated by all this, but you kept it inside. It was only the beginning. Ricardo had plenty of dirty work for you to do at this point, and he had plenty of leverage. Your sister being the last resort every time you hesitated. Dang. Get rid of Ricardo! <laughs> Kill him! <laughs> Is this a good idea? Is this gonna, like, entice, like, assassins? Get your sister and flee the country? I feel like if I don't take out Ricardo now, He'll come back for revenge. But if I take out Ricardo, then he's going to hunt me down. But then again, he has better things to deal with. Maybe I should take the risk with my sister. Escape plan. You couldn't find your sister anywhere. Calling her telephone, nothing. So start to suspect that Ricardo has suspected something like this and sent your sister elsewhere or somewhere. You were left with no choice but to confront Ricardo. Did I beat him up? He you sent your killing intent from miles away. And that's why he avoided seeing you alone to the best of his abilities. He was too cocky. I should have killed him. Ugh, I should have killed him. <laughs> As to be editing on his thumb, that proved out to be a great mistake for him. You were to meet Ricardo and a dozen of his henchmen at the local club to discuss another one of your many tasks. You had been waiting for an opportunity to see him alone, but the opportunity never presented itself. Fair enough, you thought. The moment you got to punching distance, Ricardo had a split second realization of what was happening before you knocked him off his feet. The little rat tried to slither away. Oh, I still do kill him in the end. But you grabbed him by his throat and kept slamming on the floor. Ah! <laughs> In your rage, you lifted him and threw him over the railing. He fell from the second floor to the center of the club's dance hall floor. <laughs> you saw him fall head first to the ground. You had succeeded in what you set out to do. You know, this club was secondary. You had to fight through a mob of Ricardo's goons. Somehow you made it out the back door with only minor injuries and ran away as fast as you can. You ran away from the crime scene. The problem was now both... You now both the family and the law enforcement of the city were after you. Just when you then you received a phone call from your sister. She had been sent to Ricardo's summer villa in the country of Valand for some days prior. You explained the situation to her, and the two of you decided to meet up in the country of Rondon. There was no possibility of you living in Vatican City anymore. 
You had to act fast before the police catch up to you. What did you take before leaving the city? Luxury products? <laughs> Food? I feel like medicine will always go well. Like, it's one of those things that if you ever had to go for a long travel, you could buy food. This is not important, but having an emergency medical kit on you is always handy. I'm just saying, I think that's a, I think that's a good idea. You took the first train to the left of the country. The destination was an obscure little town called Prehevel in the country of Bohemia. You had no idea what kind of place it was, but you figured out you could plan your trip better once you get there, or once you got there. Okay, let's save it. Okay, we'll save it over the first one. Skip the intro? No. <laughs> I'll be honest, I did kind of skip the intro on my other playthroughs because I was kind of scared that something was going to happen and I just wanted to see what the game was like. Who's that? So, I only know sparse, no sparse knowledge of this game. You feel like someone was watching you while you sleep? Or slept? Alright, I do know you could like grab items, right? Can I- was there a sprint button? Do you have sprint? There you go. Yeah, this is it. A soul stone. That's pretty good, isn't it? What does the soul stone do again? I forgot what that does, actually. <laughs> but I think it's like, if I remember correctly, I got soul stones for heads or something like that. Pipe. Okay. Interesting. Don't mind me just going through people's luggages. A bone saw? Should I just cut my arms off right now? Is that what the game is telling me? Something feels off. A wall suitcases, something feels off. Hmm. Something feels off. Wait, this is different. I remember like you just exit the train. This place is not the train anymore. Thank God you don't know about the heads. Oh, you know about the heads? Yes. I didn't know about it until I accidentally came across it because it said there give an offering and I thought it meant like giving my arm off. So I cut my arm off. And I tried to do it as an offering, but it turned out I just wanted heads. <laughs> there was a bone saw nearby and a leg, and I thought like, oh, that, that person must have sacrificed their body parts. <laughs> you, I've seen you, I've been looking for you everywhere. Just where do you think you ran off to? Don't you understand and hurry in? Get your hands off of me. I don't know what to say. Obedience is the key. That's the only way we'll be able to meet the quotas. Now get back to your workbench. Meow, 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 meow. This is your last chance. Next time it's punishment time. Punishment time. Get busy! We got a tight de deadline! <laughs> I'm just gonna be this zero, like, zero talk protagonist, like a real JoJo character. I'm gonna- I'm role-playing as Jotaro right now. Yada yada does it. Have you seen five streamers go through many runs complaining about not being able to get more skills and never cutting off heads? Yeah, it was- this game doesn't explain anything, honestly. Am I supposed to be doing something? What you googling at? There's nothing to see here. Guys on the cubes. <laughs> Work out with those pretty eyes on your pretty face. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Do I have to press something? Use the directional key, uh, keys to assemble cubes. Like, do I just spin it? All right. <laughs> that girl's gonna be the one that gets the beating, not me. Follow her? Do I follow her? Okay, I guess I get any up. Where do you think you're going? Oh, oh! He's coming. Don't mind me. Oh, I'm stuck! He's stuck! Chat, I did it! <laughs> did you see that big brain strat? Hey, cube. Do I pick that up? Oh, gosh. He, he's picking up a pace. There's multiple cubes. Chat! Uh... Your head hurts. You feel like you're losing your mind. Do I walk? Oh, I thought it was a cutscene. Look at all these people. That guy has no skin. Am I supposed to be doing something? <laughs> I think I'm made for this game, chat. Poof. Do, do I press something? Oh, okay. Does this game have quick time events? <clears throat> ah, there you are. A mysterious man person greets you 
in a monotonous voice. Okay, I got I got to put my monotone vo voice on. Got you pulled up from that nasty place. We were going deep into that rabbit hole. Now you are safe under the beautiful hue of the moon. Welcome to the moon tower. <clears throat> yada yada does it. Since our words could not possibly reach my master, I speak in his behalf. And who might my master be? Well, for now, let's just say he is the delinquent one. Reher? Re the trickster moon god. And me? You can call me. You can call me Per Perkeel. I'm just a humble servant of his celestial majesty. You are the dreamer. He is the dream. I am the, the owner. <laughs> My master has invited 14 of you to join us in the Julebee of Cosmic Proportions. 14 candidates, but only one true victor. A battle royale. The festival of Termina is upon us. Yada yada does it. <laughs> This must all be very confusing to you, but I won't burden you with any more information at this very moment. Just head towards the tower. That's all you need to know for now. I'm glad I will gladly answer questions once you get there. Until then, let us meet under the moonlight. Okay, tower. Got it. You wake up suddenly. Was it all just a dream? The trains seem to have stopped. Can I open the suitcase again? No, I guess wiki. I was sleepwalking. <laughs> I think this is where I started before. So, like, I never done the intro, and I think it was a good idea that I didn't try the intro. I remember you could pick this up. Comment manual and uh, map. That way you can see my live reaction. The man in suit is talking to himself. He seems to be completely lost in his own thoughts. I'm already late. I'm late already, so late. I'm so late for a very important date. No. Open. There we go. This has like the RPG Maker doors where you have to press an action button to open the doors. So that must be the best course of action for now. You interrupt the discussion. Oh, the big Chad got up. Yada yada does it. <laughs> you must be just as clueless as the rest of us. The train left us here at the outskirts of the city. All the train personnel, everyone's gone. No explanations. Yada yada. <laughs> we decided to stay here for a while. Someone has got or has to come for the train sooner or later. So if you're not in a hurry, I recommend just taking a seat inside and trying to relax. Maybe we could reintroduce ourselves. <laughs> yada yada. <laughs> oh, you don't have to, of course. Don't worry about it. I didn't mean to be too noisy. Oh, nosy. My name is Marina. My name is Olivia. Lovely to meet you all. You can call me August. Karen Sauer. Sauer? A journalist on duty. <laughs> I'm, hey, I'm Henrik. And this mystic gentleman over here is Osa. It was Osa, right? Hmm. He's doing his best. <laughs> He's doing his best. Um. Oh, what was the guy's name? I forgot what his name from Jojo. The one with the, uh, the the red phoenix. Oh, I forgot his name. Silly man. The one that goes like, Yes, I am! <laughs> we were the first to wake up. Hmm. Did you see him, like, do the hair, the anime hair thing? Where he, like, brushed it aside? Before we came out, we were talking about this. You saw a peculiar nightmare as well, didn't you? How did you know that? Everyone saw the same dream before waking up in the train. The moon, the girl in the pink dress, and the festival of Termina. It all felt too real to pass off as just a dream. Abdul, that's right! Abdul! Yes, I am! <laughs> Not this talk again. You should have asked that army pig, the Brehem pig. He was in way too much of a hurry. I bet he knows something. This seems like a sadistic army experiment. Sounds exactly like something Bre Bremen army would be part of. They had similar hallucinogens. Experimented on the war prisoners. Now that the war is over, they have to get their guinea pigs elsewhere. I wish you had your capacity and vice, but... I really had a hard time believing every conspiracy th uh, theory floating around. I'm a journalist. I've covered wars, you know. <laughs> I played as her, so I didn't know she actually said that. That's Dead Rising. I get that reference. I, I, get, it. I get that reference. You haven't seen what I've uh, been... Uh, what I've seen during these past few years. 
I've covered wars too, you know. All the men and women for the past decade to, or two who covered wars, or have covered wars. What's your point again? I've seen my fair share of hallucinogens as a doctor, and I can tell from a first-hand experience that there's no known chemicals that create visions that vivid. Especially visions that are identical with this many people. Did we just all have like a lucid dream? References. Hey Mason! You feel the tension between these two people. Are they gonna butt heads throughout this game? Deep sigh. I take that we're done here. As much as I like it, I don't have time to play happy campers with you people. Wow! <laughs> I have a job to do. Which way is their city? Alright. Whoa. Have you ever played this game, Mason? Just to let you know ahead of time, there's blood, there's gore, and all kinds of bad things. And peepees. The tower marks the center of Prehivil, so that's where we're supposed to go. You can hike through the forest to get there. It's not that far away. Got it? Forest. Okay. Gotta say, this game is like... I know this is an RPG Maker game, but sometimes you just forget that it's an RPG Maker game just by looking at it. I want to make an RPG Maker game now. All right, then. If I see anyone, I'll let them know you guys are waiting here. Have fun finding a scoop in that sleepy town. You know where to find us if anything comes up. What are you going to be doing? Shrug? Wait here, I guess. I'm not in a hurry. You know, technically, that's what you're supposed to do in emergencies. In emergencies, you're supposed to do stay with your vehicle or stay with the vehicle that you're with, in a way. Hello. Hey, oh. Let's talk to this guy. Nice day, isn't it? Attack him? <laughs> what brings you here? No, nothing much. A twist of fate, perhaps? I'm just passing through. Hmm. I think I should get inside. The mist is creeping in. The forest, this forest creeps me out. Can we talk about that dream? Oh, of course. What do you think the dream means? Hmm. It's got something to do with this place. That dream feels like a dream, doesn't it? There's an ethereal feel to everything. There's something more. Ah, oh, never mind. Hmm? Would you look at that behind? Oh, he's looking at her butt. Are you said serious? If you keep that up, I'll, co I'll come up with a better use for this wrench. Oh, he's dead. How about making yourself useful? Hmm. Maybe I will do, do just that. Just wait and see, Ginger. Just go make me proud. What do you plan to do? Oh, hey. What do you think about the dream? How long do you... What's your story? My story? Name's Henrik. 32, a chef, single, zodiac sign. Suffocated soul? What? <laughs> what else? Let's see. Hey there, cube... Cube imp? I'm going to call you cube, if you don't mind. What brings you here? That's all. Okay. Osa? Osa? What is it that you want? Uh, you seem like you might know something about the dream. How are you doing? I got called rudely... I got rudely called in the middle of that. Mm. This dream seems cozy. This dream is anything but cozy? <laughs> But yeah, I hope you enjoy your stay here. <laughs> it was sinister. It must have been a premonition. It was mysterious. It was just a dream. I think it was mysterious. I'm sure we'll all be wiser three days from now. Cube? You're a cube. Let's see. Oh, hi. I don't think we met. I'm at Bella. Nice to meet you. I'm a busy myself. I'm trying to check if I could get the train working in order again. It's not just a train stop. But for some reason, it won't start up either. Attacker. <laughs> Why does it want me to attack everybody? Just checking up on things. Good afternoon. I'm Kita Tanaka. Good to make, make your acquaintance. I'm a cube. Yes. Do be cozy. Yeah, I can be cozy. <laughs> what has come up in our training trip? I'm not entirely certain of what to do. I have some urgent business in the city. Should I go through on foot or wait for the train to continue? How about we go on foot together? I think you're right. The city isn't that far after all. I'll get to sightsee the local flora and fauna while we're at it. You want to come with me? It's really troublesome. Uh, want to travel together? I'm afraid I want to refuse your company. Aw. I really need to hurry. I think I'll do best alone. You excuse me. He needs to hurry. You want help? For now, no. I'm going to try to go through it as much- Oh, he's leaving. Let's follow him. I'm going to try to go as much as I can without knowing what to do. I do know a little bit because I played about like 30 minutes of it before. But I won't lie, I did get scared. <laughs> I do know you can grab these barrels. And we'll murder him. Oh. Nice weather for a short hike. Okay. Do you know which direction to go? Not exactly, but the good tower seems like a good waypoint. Don't let my looks deceive you. I do know my way around. Okay. Let's follow him. I kind of want to see where he goes. Wait, 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 wait. I need to grab these items. Wait, 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 wait. 
Okay. Can I grab this? Yeah, lavender. Okay. So I know that you could grab some of the things in the area, like green herbs, lavender, and purple herbs. Anything over here? I know, like, this one says, like, I need a botanist. What kind of game is it? Um, it's an RPG. Like, there's battles and stuff. Can you give one tip? As long as it's not too much of a spoiler. Can I block you? <laughs> You're not going anywhere. It's time to beat you up. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> All right, let's see where he's going. I remember this, though. I remember, I remember the blood stain here. I remember this guy. Can I pick up this leg? I don't remember if I could do that or not. Hacked off arm. I remember this bucket falls over. Yes, it's very menacing. It did scare me the first time I played. <laughs> what, what, what is that? To get a party member, but it's not much spoiler. If you're talking about Bella, I know about that one. But I, I won't lie, when I went to get her, there, it was really creepy, so I never like went deeper inside that area. What on earth is going on? They are dead. Well, never mind. Have anything else to say? You should report to someone? Yeah, the local police. Is this where your journey ends? Let's see. He knows about grabbing heads and brutality. He probably will be fine. We'll see. <laughs> I know about the axe man here. The the axe man with the large double-headed axe, if you know what I mean. Did you get steel or lockpicking? No. I got escape plan, I think. I don't remember which one I got. But here, I'll show you what my skills are. I just went, I just answered it as honestly as I can. I got escape plan and bob and weave. Like, I put myself, I'm role playing as Jotaro, but I also put myself in there. There are no other assets here. I remember, like, in this area <laughs> to run away. Did you choose the honest path? I did. Because this guy here can kill me really hard, so I'm just gonna leave him. <laughs> I'm gonna let him do his thing. It's, it's fine. <laughs> that also scared me the first time I was playing this game. Terminus is upon us! Can I pick up these mushrooms? Yeah, I can. <laughs> but I don't think he goes this far, right? He's like limited by his path. So he's not going to follow me unless he sees me. But yeah, I, I answered honestly. The only tip else I will give for the honest path is Dan. I'm just going to do a single playthrough for a single ending. Because I'm just going to play this all the way until the end of October. Because I'm not really good with scary games. <laughs> that dude's like Majora's Mask. Any items? Let me go grab this toilet paper. Sometimes this toilet paper can come in handy. <laughs> Rub that dirty toilet paper on you. Never choose honest path for Marco. I got 10 shillings though. Let's see. Meat pie? I remember fighting this person. I think it's like, I'm trying to remember. Hold on, I don't want to start a fight. I'm ready to defend myself. I remember trying to remember, I think you want to attack her torso, like when I played this before, like she has really low health, so I just attack her torso and it kills her. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm infected! Yay! <laughs> Alright, let's, let's take out those arms then. <laughs> I'm bleeding! Yay! Oh, no, I wanted to go for another arm. Oh, chat, this is going horribly. Uh... Bro doesn't even know about the meat. He will get to it someday. Meat. Okay, there we go. And let's just beat up the torso. There we go. <laughs> let's take your head. Moldy bread. Yummy. Um, there you go. I know about the, the head thing too. But I'll be honest. My playthrough extended as far as this first area. And since I got an infection... Maybe I'll fight these guys off first. Red herb. Let's see. Don't I have... I have dirty toilet paper. If I use this, I'll get another infection. Right? Then I could use a green herb to wipe the infection right off. Which could wipe your memory. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I do remember for this guy... I think it was like... Like, the thing I did for this area is just like break all the arms and then like aim for the torso. And then like, if he does this, just guard. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, see? So I have some base knowledge on what I'm doing. It's just not enough knowledge. In fact, I could rev up. I forgot I had that mechanic. There you go. Have you guys played this game before? 
considering the fact that you guys seem to know what you're doing, have you guys played this game all the way through? Oh wait, I forgot I should be cutting heads off. Okay. Uh, let's search him first. A sickle. I think since Marco is a boxer, I'm better off just using no weapon, right? I'm imagining that's the case. I've never seen this game before. Yeah, it's all about like cutting people's limbs off. <laughs> I remember going to this area, picking up books or not. Going to this area, picking up items or not. Hmm. I could pick up the glass, I think. Yeah. Let's see, white vial. Just gonna grab everything I can. Turn on the radio. Grab everything. Yeah, look at all this free stuff. Funger, the game of looking through bookshelves and restarting. Is that how it works? Oh gosh. I won't lie, I am feeling kind of spooked right now. <laughs> all right. Oh, chat. <laughs> I'm a little scared right now, actually, but it's fine. It's fine. I remember there was nothing bad, right? There was nothing bad, right? Maybe I'll just I'll play with my eyes half squint If you guys gonna tell I'm really really easy to scare I am super duper easy to scare. I don't remember Like when you have a quiet area like this the atmosphere really gets to me I remember there's a person here ambushing me the worst you could do is die. Yeah, see there's that person. Let's go Back attack him. Get him. Alright. Let's break those arms. I'm gonna get infected again, aren't I? Oh man, I don't have do I have another green herb? Oh, oh nice. Alright. Yeah, but the thing is I forgot, like, you can only save when you um when you do a sleep, right? And then like if you sleep, it advances the day. I'm already dying, chat. All right. Does sleeping fully heal you though? I can hold your hand if you're, I'm scared. I might need that actually. We need to have, I need to make a hand holding emote. I got an arm and a leg. What can I do? Can I eat it? <laughs> the sounds of cutting off the head is so, can I eat the head or the arm and leg? What do I do with the arm and leg? Body bag? Do I eat this? Am I actually eating this? I don't know if that's a good idea. Okay, we'll save that for later. We'll we'll, we'll save that as a last resort. <laughs> like in case we're super hungry and we have nothing else to eat, we'll save those arms and legs for that. Okay, penny bun. Oh, what's that sound? <laughs> so just like for those who are coming in late, I showed how like when I played this game before, I played it on mute. Because the scout, the, the sounds were scaring me so much that I couldn't keep playing. I know I need chalk for this, so I don't think I could do anything for it. The truth under the moonlight. Let's see, I know some books give spells too or something like that. Who of us who do doesn't cover their true face and hide behind a persona? That's me! In the broad daylight, we adapt, adopt a social role depending on the surrounding people. We put on a mask that works as the public image of our true personality. Do we hide our face to avoid judgment of others or people? Or do we look down in shame as the sun watches our every move? Is, this sh is the sun judging me? The lustful thoughts? Oh no. <laughs> Only in the darkness of night does the true vile nature of man get revealed. We share our decrepit bodies only to select few under the moonlight. Despite what lowly thieves covering the shadows would like you to think, the moonlight hides no one. Okay, I didn't get anything from that. Useless. Alright, this takes me back out too, so... Rat? Let's go get a party member. That's the only thing I really know how to do in this game so far, is just get a party member. And find items. A booby trap. I don't know how to use those booby traps, though. Can I open this car? I have to leave. Alright! Take care, Mason. Have fun. Okay. How do I deal with the dogs though? I remember that there's dogs along the way. How do I deal with the dogs? Do I, did I just run past them? I think I beat them up. I, th I think if I remember correctly, I beat them up. Let me go heal because I'm dying though. Um, Yeah, this might come in handy. Let's take a heal. Can use traps in combat. Oh, can I use traps in combat? Let's give it a try. 
Let's deal with this dog. I think if like I separate them. <laughs> Why is it showing the Oh! Did I get ambushed? Okay, okay. Like I'm trying to remember what to do here. Am I <laughs> Hmm <laughs> Should I bob and weep? Or should I use the trap? Oh, I can't use trap in combat. I thought you said I could use it in combat. Alright, let's bob and weep. Let's see if we could get around this dog. Headless is panting. Okay, let's break those paws. If I remember correctly too, if you aim for the head, it's a good for guaranteed kill, but you can't really... Like, it's a, a low chance of hitting or something like that, right? Oh, I'm poisoned. Okay. Punch the dog. Don't punch the dog in real life, chat. How do I get rid of poison? Nothing of worth. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, the dog is blocking it. He's body blocking. All right, let's get out of here. Uh... All right, I think we're good. We shook him off. Oh, we didn't shake him off. Yeah. Okay. What is this? Can't get the cork to open. Okay. A makeshift trap uh, made from the case of a landmine, while not very damaging, can be used to stun opponents momentarily. Okay, interesting. Do I just use it on the outside though? Is that how it works? Do I have more healing? I'm still poisoned too. How do I get rid of poison? Mind... Um, beer? Mind... Hmm... Okay, I don't have anything that can heal poison. Open. Smell of raw immediately open uh, upon opening the hatchet. Oh, it's you. We met already at the train. What do you have there? Found something? I found this hatch. A hatch in the middle of nowhere? Seems a bit suspicious, no? Interesting at the very least. How about we hop in there and see what's in under there? Okay, so <laughs> let's check it out together. <laughs> as soon as I went in here, <laughs> I talked to her and looked around a bit and I noped right out. So I don't know what these tunnels have. Where you um it's quite something. This is exciting. How about we continue deeper? You don't need to say a word. I'll be traveling with you for a while. Sure, I guess. I could use a ally. All right. Because like I was looking around here and then I was like, nope, I'm not going to go here. But since we're on stream chat, I guess we could do it together. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the worst that could happen? I'm gonna I'm gonna squint my eyes so I can't see. Oh gosh. <laughs> Heads. Ring of the still blood. What is that? <laughs> Let's see. A ring that makes the blood still and does prevent bleeding. Oh, that might be handy. Scrap metal. Okay, chat. I'm just kind of scared, but I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best for you, chat. Oh gosh, what if something comes around the corner? Alan's starting to feel hungry. Okay. Alan needs a snack. Let's give him a meat pie. There you go. The shells are full of spare parts. You found duct tape. Nice. Duct tape solves everything. Nothing of interest here. Chat, can you just talk? Say something, chat, so I can read you guys instead of looking at the game. <laughs> Somebody say something. <laughs> I kind of don't want to explore this area. It's kind of scary. Oh, maybe we'll come back to it. <laughs> Let's stay in the overworld for a while. <laughs> Let's go to the places I've been to before. So that way, <laughs> we'll come back there. Oh. Hmm. Well, this is awkward. Oh, I got him. He's stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> All right, let's just go for the full. If we toss the wrench at it, I think that does enough damage plus the jab will kill it, right? Thank you, Cyan, but it's too late. I left the area. Can I? These things are headless, so I don't think they have heads that I could take off, right? Okay. <laughs> 
We'll come back there, chat. We'll come back there. I promise. We'll come back there. I'll just explore the areas that I have been to. Okay? That way, that way I can save the game. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait, do I think we equip her wrench? Yeah, I do. No, oh, let's get these boxes and then we'll beat this guy up. A pipe. Okay. Did I just take five damage from the. Oh, he just put a, a bear trap down. Okay. Let's go break the pipe wrench arm. I learned that you can guard with the main character and other characters won't have to deal with bear trap. It's only. The only person that deals with the bear trap is you. Alright. There you go. Beat him up! Kill him! Send him to the Shadow Realm, we're taking his head! <laughs> Thank you. The poison do be ticking. How do I get rid of poison? I can't believe I got poisoned already. Oh my gosh, I'm almost dead. Meat pie. I remember there was somebody down there too. Somebody that has like a mask. He looks scary and intimidating, so we won't fight him just yet. I feel like I need to build up an inventory or something. I know... Let's see. There's a guy over there. I know there's a chest down here. Right? Or not. Okay. Let's go this way. Anything in here, though? Okay. Whew. <laughs> Free food, chat. Free food. Item? Oh, chat, I'm scared. Does blue herb heal poison? No, it just heals body. I think it was red and green. Or white to get... Oh, white vial? Oh, you're right! I just happened to have a white vial. Nice. Okay. Going through some resources though, really fast. Alright, let's get this chest. I mean, like, the thing is, it's always 50 50, but no matter what I choose, it'll always be 50 50. It's not like there's this win streak, so I might as well just go, like, flat with one of them. Book of Fears. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's fears in this game, so I have zoophobia. I guess I'm scared of animals. Radophobia. What's a radophobia? I think this book of fear tells it, right? Let's see. Nosophobia, fear of disease and contamination, phasmophobia. Hey, that's a game that we're going to be playing in the future. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Ghost of fears, the ghastly figures. Here we go. Fear of magic with otherworldly powers. Okay. Erotophobia, fear of <laughs> and genitals. <laughs> Zoophobia, terraphobia. Okay, interesting. What if I just get a phobia to everything? <laughs> Might as well. Haha, <laughs> haha. I already have a fear of everything. Okay. Anything in here? Wasn't there a guy down here? I thought there was a guy in here. Ornamental. Oh! <laughs> there he is. Can we sneak up attack on him? Yeah! Back attack! Okay. All right, let's go through the motions of the ocean. Gonna attack those arms, break it up. Okay, you're not gonna need those anymore. We're gonna rev up and just go for the finishing blow. Let's toss the wrench. I think wrench toss does more damage, but it just, you lose your wrench for the battle. Yeah, see that? Nice. All right, let's equip that wrench back on you shillings is there a shop in this game though oh i keep doing that all right let's take off the head i imagine that since i get shillings there's somebody that acts as a shopkeeper i haven't seen it yet though but i guess it's because i'm still in the beginning of the game there are shops okay head there we go battle stone what does this do the ring of a long gone god battle the ring has magic imbued and and constantly leaking for the crystal? What does that mean? Should I equip this? Sure. What does that do? Okay, some books. Occult Grimoires. Do I learn a spell from that? 
Okay. The Cult Grimoire's Magic in Theory and Practice, written by Samurai Zimri, translated by Oscar Renti. So that one doesn't lose their minds along with their soul, one must come prepared for all situations. The basic knowledge of are always the most important. You need a steady foundation in order to build the towers to the god. To form any rites on a ritual circle, the founding circle must be carved first from top to bottom. The first one is an asymmetric circle. The asymmetric circle represents the older gods and their one-sided distribution of power. Okay, interesting. interesting. The second one is called the imperfect circle. The imperfect circle is the mark of the new gods who have strived for perfection since their conception, never, never to attain it truly. And the last one is called the perfection circle. The perfection circle represents countless spiraling cycles cum accumulating in the birth of an ascended one, the one who were able to go beyond human limits. One must never assign sigils, sigils, not meant for founding circles as a lesson to take from here. The beauty of these the rites is that you can not change them, but they can change you. Interesting. You don't want me to tell you what items and consumables do, or do you want to wing it? I'm just going to wing it for now. If there's an item that, like, I don't know what it does, and it feels very important, then I'll, then I'll ask chat. But I remember this is where I offered heads. Here you go. Take my heads! <laughs> Unbearable existence, the suffering, the agony. We played a secret song from Echoes from Within. Also, how's the game audio? Can you guys hear it? The sound that is like razors through flesh. Can you hear it? Can you hear my voice after all? You who came with the offering, ask and thou shalt receive. You received five stone shard, soul stone shards. Farewell. We got one soul stone too. Like from uh, one of the suitcases. Let me see. I think you can craft these, right? There you go. So we have two soul stones right now. There's someone here. Who's there? Uh, uh, uh. Random stuff. Okay. There's a mansion in this area, but I'm going to cycle through the whole area before I go to the mansion. I want to grab as much chest as I can. <laughs> I want to be as prepared as I can. I'll have to grab this glass. This is my glass now. Or I can't. Never mind. A bed. Leftovers, I'll take that. Okay. I should be running around more often, but then again, is there like... If I run, will enemies like find me better? They'll be like, hey, we heard that, and then... Oh, I got bullets. <laughs> then you're gonna chase me down, a bone saw. What do I do with extra bone saws? Can I sell it? I think there's a chest over here, yeah. Ka! Ramen meat, yummy. Nothing here. Small key. Open it. Heads? Not heads. Let's see. I have some small coins. I know you could use small coins for chests to ha increase your chance of getting something. Alright, let's beat him up! Show him who's boss! Out of curiosity, did anyone here like play this game multiple times with multiple characters? Does it actually change depending on the character you play as? Let's see. We'll do wrench toss. Throw it straight at your body. Kill him. Okay. Uh, let's saw off his head. That'll come in handy, as usual. It does change. I see. Interesting. Anything in here? Oh, this is where I came from, isn't it? The door is locked with a simple lock. You could use a small key. Um, we'll come back to it. Yellow vial. Can't get those items. Dead body. Rel relatively fresh state. Hmm. There's not much physical trauma. Maybe he suffered a heart attack or died from some sort of disease or poison. Search. Okay. A diary. To be honest, I like reading through the books because it gives me a time of respite. <laughs> you know, for the longest time I thought respite was pronounced the, the word respite. What backwaters part these dark corners of the earth really are. When I heard about this assignment, I figured a city of Prehevel would at least be a decent size and there would be surely 
some entertainment to be had with local dancers and street girls. Ooh. <laughs> but alas, I'm not keen of getting comfy with the locals after sightseeing the city a bit. Frankly, I'm baffled how a city that size has managed to stay so isolated from the neighboring influence of modern time. The preheval folks still hold on tightly to religious practices or rites as old as the fellowship itself. The human sacrifices creep me out to this day and age. Even if I've seen the horrors of war, the crucifix crucifixes set around the city manage to send a chill down my spine. Interesting. Can I eat horse? <laughs> eat horse. All right, let's go get the rest of the chests. And then we'll go. We'll do our, we'll go to the mansion. I'll fight you first. He has a gun, so let's beat his, destroy his arms. Oh, I forgot to equip her with the wrench. Shoot. Or did I equip her with the wrench? I don't remember. We'll see. If she doesn't have a wrench, then I'm kind of... Okay, she has a wrench. Whew. Alright. Give me that gun. I want that gun. With zero ammo. It'll just be like my World of Horror playthrough, where I was running around shooting a gun with no ammo. <laughs> I need some more healing potions. Alright, let's go rev up. Attack that torso. Oh no, no, no! Oh, chat, I've done dumb! Am I gonna take damage? Oh, okay. Marco's strong. Marco's powerful. Give me your heads. I got ammo, at least. Yeah! <laughs> Eating that head. I'm gonna pick up all the glass. I remember that you could use glass to throw at enemies. <coughs> and I remember like one thing I did before was like if you use the glass on an enemy head, apparently it blinds them, which is handy. Having an enemy blind is really handy. Okay, so having all the glass shards will come in handy. Watch out for those traps. Sometimes when I when I did my practice playthrough, there must be a this must be the television room. Thank you. Hmm. Too bad it's useless because of lack of electricity. Interesting. <laughs> Sometimes I would accidentally walk on those bear traps because I'm not paying attention. I got chalk. Okay. I could use the chalk now to draw ritual circles, can't I? Okay, let's see what else we could find. Just gotta be careful of these bear traps. It was this bear trap right here. <laughs> Glass shards do be good. They do. Tomato, veggie pie, rotten meat, blue vial, golden chantelier, which is a mushroom. This guy is very dangerous though. I don't know if I do want to fight them, but there's two of us. We might be able to kill him fast. Like maybe if I aim for the torso, because he infects with every hit, if I remember correctly, and does a lot of damage. Oh, wow! Marco is so strong! When I was playing as uh, Karen, I remember Karen having to do a lot of damage to kill those guys. <laughs> but Marco just kills him in one hit. What a strong guy. I love Marco. We love Marco. Okay, turnip. A breastplate? Let's see. Plate mail offers great defenses. Rather clunky use. Hmm. Interesting. Plus seven defense is nice. It's nice for the first few runs. That makes sense. Does the girl want my jacket? Here. Let me take off your... Yeah, I think my jacket's better defense-wise for you. Abella's starting to feel hungry. Well, tough luck. <laughs> this is my food. Alright, let's go feed her. This is fear and hunger after all. How much does this meat pie put do for food? I wasn't paying attention. Did I just overheal her? It doesn't say. I think I overhealed her. Penny buns? I remember there was a person in there that wants heads. Like it was like the head of the the axe guy and the head of um what's it called? Something else. I don't remember what the other thing was. Shotgun shell. A singular so shotgun shell. Alright. Marco Strong. Beat him up. 
All right, that didn't kill in one hit though. But this will. <laughs> Rusty pipe. Let's take that head. Meat pie is 90 hunger? Really? Oh gosh, I've been wasting all these meat pies. <laughs> I asked for a snack, I eat a meat pie. Let's see, this gives me poison, but this doesn't. Okay. Did I fully heal food? Oh gosh. All right, I'm not gonna eat until I'm 50%. Oh, I just wanna search these boxes. The body's in the way, my way. I guess that box is un inaccessible now. Lavender, okay, nice. Let's see. I remember there was like a sewer thingy over there. So let's not go there yet. These traps are annoying too. Okay. I like how these traps are just placed. That way, if you're not paying attention, bam, boom, off your legs and arms. All right. Carrot, turnip. Let's see. Anything here? Blood. Can't open this crate. Person's barely alive. Okay, let's let's just take their arms and legs, I guess. <laughs> Most other food like you have are around 5 and 10 used for cooking. Okay. Well, Henrik is a cook. I wonder if I could bring it to him. Let's see. Let's just get the rest of the items. Then we'll save. I think this is a good start. Then we'll move our way through some areas. We got chalk. We got Marco's fist. We have Abella. I think we have a good start. Then we'll save the game. That way we have at least... Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, what brings you here? I'm a journalist. I smell scoop. I don't think anyone visits these parts unless they have to. Uh, are you heading to the city? That's right. I'm going to go alone if you're... Oh, I guess I can't get her yet. Where are you going? I'd rather not make acquaintances right now. Dang. You're loitering right now! She's a jerk. Alright. And I remember over here... There's a guy with a gun, but I can ambush him from this direction, right? Let me see. Ha ha! Take that! Oh, wait, don't wait for the head. Did I forget to equip her? Oh, I forgot to equip her wrench. <laughs> that's the, the thing that sucks about the, the wrench toss. It's easy to forget about your wrench. Oh no! Okay, she deserved that. She deserved that! <laughs> Oh wow, she should have equipped her wrench without me telling her to. Did you see how much damage that did? Oh my gosh, being shot by a gun hurts. Wasn't there a quick button in here? Yeah, there was a quick button. Put that wrench on. There you go. All right. Being shot by a gun hurts, yeah. Does sleeping heal, fully heal me? Can, like, if I sleep off, sleep off a, a bullet wound, will it fully heal me? <laughs> I don't know how sleeping works in this game. Oh, I gotta scratch my nose. My nose is itchy, chat. You can't tell right now, but I've been scratching my nose a lot. Come on. I keep getting stuck on the geometry here. It's almost as if it's a 3D game. Let's see. Isn't there something over there? I see some green herb. Or was that blue herb? Let me go grab that anyways. Whatever it is. I think that was blue herb. What does it say, chat? <laughs> I've skipped it too fast. Let's see. Blue? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Cyan, my trusted, my trusted advisor. Any more things here? Oh. And there blue herb. I'll take that. All right, let's go back to the train and go to sleep. Then we'll move our way from out from there. This is a green herb, right? Yep. All right, we'll go to the mansion because at least I know what happens in the mansion. Maybe we'll fight the, if we're gonna save the game, we might as well fight that one guy. Actually, no, like if I'm correctly, you can only level up through your sleep. So maybe I should stop by town and get the, what's it called? I should stop by town and turn in these heads, then I'll save the game and level up. Then after that, we'll fight the we'll fight the axe man and see how we do. 
I think that's a good way to go about it. Oh, food. There we go. Alright, so far so good though. I think I have a good start. I have a really good start. <laughs> I don't think I ever got what that reward was from the person that wants both the heads. They wanted like um, the axe man's heads, but I forgot what the other head they want. Let's just be careful not to run into this guy. <laughs> when I played as Karen, I just shot that guy dead. <laughs> I didn't bother. I didn't bother fighting him. I just shot him with the gun. <laughs> if only I had gun right now. If only I had gun. All right. Let's just make our way. Shooting bosses and bear trapping are the best feeling. Oh, he's a uh, he's out and about. Looks like we're not going back this way, chat. I guess we have to do another cycle. <laughs> This is where the sacrifice thing was, right? I think this is where the sacrifice thing was. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Let's give it an offering. Six heads. Okay. Oh yeah, wasn't there like a room that, or a house I could go into with a key? Let's go check that out really quick. Let's see. How many soul stones do we have? Look at my soul stones, chat! We got four soul stones! Okay, I gotta level up. This place has a bed, right? Yeah, there is a bed. Chat, question. Is sleeping on the bed in the train better than sleeping in the bed in a wild or a random area? Like, if I sleep on this bed, will I wake up and somebody will, like, have a knife through my <laughs> through my side? <laughs> Is that how this game works? Smiley face! <laughs> Alright, we're going back to the train then. <laughs> let's go back to the train. I know it's a little bit long way away, but let's do it. Just gotta be careful of the bear traps because... Gotta pay attention, you know? Because I feel like that guy is still there maybe we'll fight all the the big enemies too once we once we save the game we'll fight like the the mask guy the axe guy and then oh what's she doing here it's you just what the hell's going on in this town something very bad the local did you get attacked yes i'm just glad i had took my pistol with me this scoop is a lot bigger i have to be careful of what i wish for in the future um what do you know about the scoop? I have my connections to different organizations and groups. One of the resistance groups against the Bremen army tipped me that there's something going down here in Prehevel. Apparently there is this very specific reason why Bremen army occupied this area. Hmm. I wasn't informed about anything else. I can't believe I wasn't even warned about this place. That guy will have hell to pay once I get back to civilization. Okay. Watch out for those bear traps. <laughs> Alright, let's go make our way home. Back to the train. Do, 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 do. Look at these guys, these poor guys. Like, I got a question. I know if I talk to them, I have the chance of attacking them, right? Is there any repercussions for killing them? <laughs> can I just take their heads? As bloodthirsty as that sounds, chat, can I just take their heads? Oh gosh, okay. I just want to be careful with this trap. I remember getting my legs. <laughs> Can I just kill them? Can I just go with the, the stabity stab stab? Go ahead and try it. I'd rather not. I feel like I feel like karma is a thing in this game. I feel like if I kill them, somebody's gonna be bigger and say, like, hey, you killed all my friends. Now you gotta pay. And he pulls out like a machine gun and starts bullying me down. You know what I mean? I feel like that might be the case here. I'm out of stamina. Luckily there's nothing to run away because they're all dead. Hehe. <laughs> Alright. We'll start with the axe man, then we'll try to move on to the mask man. Man, this was a long walk, but I'm doing this for safety chat. We're doing, we're playing safely. We can't, we can't blunder this run through, okay? Okay, oh, is this item? Oh no, I already got that. Do herbs regrow? I noticed their spots are still there. Like that blue spot was still there. Can I bring anybody else with me on the train? 
Anybody else here? Hey, I think I sit down for a bit. I had enough inventory for the time being. Okay. Daughters left for the city. I guess they grew tired of waiting. The doc said they get some help as soon as possible. Decided to stand train. I just came here to check up on you. Oh, what? That's so sweet. Aw. We got in the mist. Uh, we got in after the mist got thicker. I don't mind waiting just for a while longer. Okay. Actually, there is a reason I can't exactly leave this train. I have a condition where my legs don't function properly. Yeah, she's the wheelchair girl. <laughs> so you have to have a wheelchair for her. I'll spare you the details, but to suffice, say it makes this situation we are even in more troublesome. Don't you have a wheelchair? Yes, you would think I would have one, right? But to make things more complicated, there was going to be someone picking me up with a wheelchair. Too bad that someone didn't expect me to be here in the middle of the forest. Can't say this makes things too easy. So somebody helped you in. What's that circle over there? It's a little something I carved out of boredom, leaving my mark on the train. Just a normal Monday, Monday in the life of a vandal. <laughs> I don't think that's normal for Mondays. Actually, it's a perfection circle. It's used to worship certain gods. It might come in handy if you know what I mean, what to do with it. I don't. Anybody else in the train? I think that's it. Is there a second part to this train? Like that would have people? Guess not. Okay. All right. Let's go to sleep on the bench. Let's go level ourselves up. Do we have to bring her along too? Like if we want to level up? Want to tag along? Sure thing. Okay. Let's go save the game and level up. Okay. Rest for a bit. All right. <laughs> Let's see what skills we have. Oh my. Nobody's dead yet. Welcome back. I take it that you are now acquainted with most of your fellow contestants. Keep up the pace. The festival won't last forever. I have no time to waste with you. What is going on? Since the four the 14 of you are such late additions to the party, your days are already running short. The festival will see its climax in just three days. That is how long you have to use, uh, use it wisely. Okay. My master has a short attention span. If any of the other 13 contestants are still around when the midnight hits on the day three, well, I guess you'll just have to wait and see. However, it's not advised to wait until then. Okay. Do you mean I have to kill the other contestants? What do you, uh, what you do and what you don't is entirely up to you, of course. Do you want to kill your fellow contestants? But enough about that. Let's proceed to the services I provide. How many, how many I best? Okay, let's save the game. And let's do the Hexen. So this is interesting. I don't know how this exactly works. Like, can I teach skills to my party members or is it just me? Bare-fisted proficiency. That might come in handy. Persuade. Lockpicking. Diplomacy. Can I pick this up? No, I can't. What can I pick up? Wrench toss? Okay. It's all about your character? Okay, so this is just my character. Bury the trauma on guard? What's this? I'm not saying that out loud and I'm not picking it up, chat. <laughs> Blood sacrifice, engrave, boarding sigil, analyze. There's a lot of skills. Can I pick up any of these skills? I guess the only thing I could pick up is. Oh. Interesting. Okay, I guess I need these orbs in order to get. The deeper orbs from the looks of it. Counter stance. Counter stance sounds nice. Perfect guard. Ooh. Alright. Question to chat. Is it worth investing into Marco's skill tree? Like, I'm guessing this is Marco's path. I'm guessing these are the paths of other characters. Like wrench toss is I think this is Isabella. This is uh what's it called? Hmm. Gunslinger. Who's Gunslinger? Oh, probably Levi. Don't know who that is. Buried the trauma on guard. Is this Augustus? <laughs> hmm. Perfect guard sounds nice though. Ah, uh, barefitted. Okay, let's 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 go invest. Well, the better we are. Oh, I can't teach this to Abella. Do I want to teach it to Abella? I'll teach it to me because I'm the, the fist fighter. Perfect guard. Let's see. Fast dance is right here. Perfect guard is right here. I have enough to get fast dance. 
but by doing so, I won't get perfect guard. Adrenaline rush versus counter stance. Mm, counter stance sounds nice, but does counter stance negate or lower damage? All I want to say, what? What do you want to say? Balls. Hey, Matthew. I see you're just balling in chat right now. Perfect guard prevents limb loss. Okay, that's perfect then. Let's do it. All right. Hi. Have you played this game before, Matthew? It's a game about fear and hunger. All right. I guess I'm just gonna invest all into Marco's tree. Oh wait, I did have enough for a fast dance. Oh, I'm stupid, chat. <laughs> all right. I know the game, but I never played it. All right. We'll make a se separate save spot. The best way to play this game. <laughs> All right, let's get killing. <laughs> let's pull out the gun. Did I heal? No. Apparently sleeping doesn't heal you then. It's a pretty interesting game. I won't lie. It's pretty eerie. <laughs> it has me kind of spooked. <laughs> okay, it has me a lot of spooked. Especially with this fog being this thick. Oh gosh. But the RPG elements are pretty fun because it's like um, you have to figure out how to take apart enemies, literally in the best way uh, without having your characters die. Paprika. How do I cook? Was there a door in this thing? No, there wasn't. All right, chat. Let's go find the ax man. Let's do it. Oh, wait, is that a herb right there? I think that's a herb, right? Th these are herbs, right? No, but that is. I see a herb right there. You can live vicariously through me, though. <laughs> Now that we have a save, let's go kill a lot of people and check out the mansion. I hope Abella doesn't die. Wait. Okay, she has a wrench on. <laughs> Killing people sounds good. Yeah, kill, 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 kill. <laughs> Just like all VTubers, I'm full of bloodlust. I missed this. You don't know where these, these herbs are growing. All right. Where is this guy? You ready? Can I take this guy's body stuff? Does he have anything? Nothing of value. Okay. We aren't just killing people for fun. We're killing for them heads. <laughs> he was okay. All right. What is this thing down here? Oh, pinecone pig, huh? I guess that's his dong. Eat him. All right. Let's take out the ax arm. I feel like ax arm is important. Let's see, counter stance, stay alert for enemy attacks and counter when possible. Hmm. Alright, let's go bob and weave. This might be a long battle. I don't know how long it'll take. Let's not throw our wrench just yet. Let's take out let's take the arm out. Because I know that cuts off limbs. Oh. Interesting. Uh well that was easy. <laughs> let's aim for <laughs> let's aim for the pinecone pig. The pee pee. Oh, I'm doing pretty well. Am I am I jinxing it? Am I doing something to jinx it? It's counter stance. Okay. Um, should we just go for torso or should we go for head? All right, I think we should go for head. I think boss fights is like aiming for the head is better, but we have to we have to break his legs first. Okay. Oh wait, we go wrap up. Up. Maybe we should aim for the torso for this, right? What does rev up do? Does it just increase my damage? Oh, 700! Oh, this guy's super dead, chat! Did you see that? <laughs> you act more? Oh, I see. Alright. Basement key from the pockets. You also take the axe. Okay. Take his head. The guy, that one person wanted the head, so we got one. Okay. Is there anything as well? Get the urge to jump down. Let's investigate. Doesn't look that deep after all. Okay, maybe we should jump and check. The well has dried up. Okay. Let's check. Oh, there's item down here. Nice. Found a lucky coin. Don't feel so lucky for whatever reason. The well doesn't look that deep from down here. Let's climb it up then. Huh? You can feel this realization in your guts. What if you can't get back up? Huh? 
Knock on the wall. Knock knock. No loose stones. Help. Try to yell for help as loud as possible. Uh, I thought it said it wasn't that deep. Chat. What do I do? Huh? Oh gosh. <laughs> Is something gonna come down here? Die? What do you mean die? Is something gonna like pop up? Is it gonna eat me? Oh gosh. Uh, how rep up work? Okay, I might have forgotten to read that book. <laughs> Chat? Oh gosh, I'm scared. <laughs> Something's gonna happen, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go heal up just in case. Do we have any healing? We do. Okay. Do we have any more healing? I don't know if I want to use these items because I think you could mix it like Resident Evil. Maybe beer. You want a beer, Bella? Searching. No loose stones or anything. I thought it said it wasn't that deep. Chat, it said it wasn't that deep. Did it not say that it was not that deep? Did I, did I misread that? Did, did, did Alan bring, like, did, said, like, misread it? Dyslexia said that, like, <laughs> it's deep. <laughs> huh? Or did I, did I do something wrong? Did I soft lock the game? Options. Crafting. What's this? Oh, equipment. Okay. moist to climb around I guess that's true chat how do I get out party talk oh the wall is quite slippery <laughs> hmm chat what do I do huh is this a puzzle Kind of awkward since you killed the woodsman. What does that mean? Was the woodsman gonna help me? Was the woodsman a good guy? Is that why the person? No, he attacked me. Oh gosh, I'm scared. <laughs> All right, chat, help me. What do I do? I need to know what to do. Whew. Oh gosh, I'm so scared of roaming around. Something's gonna trigger. Something's gonna trigger. So? So what? So? Maybe load the game to the last checkpoint? Did, it, did I soft lock myself? Knock knock? Do I need to use a specific item? Uh, maybe the axe. Healing twice, Tanaka saves you, but gets killed by the woodman? Oh. So then what do I do now? <laughs> uh... But no woodman? I don't know. <laughs> do I have... Booby trap? Where's my booby trap? Suffer? Die? How do I die? Can I just go back to title? <laughs> Hunger? Oh, I'm not waiting that long? <laughs> Alright, let's head off. I guess we have to fight the... Alright, the well was just a trap, apparently. Wait, don't we have chalk? Can't we interact with this? Oh, I don't... I don't know what to do there, apparently. <laughs> All right, chat. I may have dumbed. <laughs> I may have dumbed incredibly hard. I guess it's a soft lock. They didn't have like a way to solve the puzzle, apparently.
Oh, I had to fight the guy again. I got lucky, though. I got lucky fighting him. I think I got lucky. Did I get lucky? I don't know if I got lucky. Oh, oh yeah. That's right. Equip her. Okay, she's equipped. Let's go try this again. And this time, not die. Let's grab this again. How come I can't mix herbs, though? I thought this was going to be like Resident Evil, but... My mix crafting items doesn't have it on my list. Do I have to learn it? Is it like learning to mix herbs something you learn? All right, let's do this again. Yeah, probably. That makes sense then. All right, let's go for this. Okay, that thing goes down in one hit too, which is nice. Actually, can I just like go straight for the body? P alchemy, I see. Slam, okay. Ooh, she took some damage. Pinecone pig is pulsating. I don't like it when my pinecone pig pulsate. But let's see if we could just finish him off. That way we can minimize the amount of damage that we take. There we go, see? Okay, I learned my lesson. Can I get like a rope for the well? There's a lucky coin down there. <laughs> I kind of want to get that lucky coin. Goat? What's this goat doing here? Give it a carrot? Sure. Okay. Does it acknowledge my existence? Pet it? Huh. It thinks highly of itself and doesn't need to acknowledge you? Okay. Investigate. Stares into the distance with glassy eyes. On the first glance, the creature seems harmless, but on further investigation, you are met with a great feeling of dread. Okay. Interesting. Any items here? Ramen meat. Mushroom. What's on TV? Nothing. Green herb. There's a door that's locked. White vial is nice, though. That means if I get poison... Grab all these glass shards. Oh yeah, we could have used the glass shards on the guy's eyes. Maybe next time. Do I want to go to there? Open the chains with the basement key. Listen. No sounds are coming from down there. That's what they want me to think. Chat, do I want to go down there? <laughs> you don't put blood stains in front of a door and say hey, there's nothing in there. Oh gosh. Anything here? It's empty. Okay. The Woodsman Letter. I feel like this game is making me paranoid. The beast has entered this house. It is not. It is not my property any longer. The beast took my wife. It took my dignity. It took my fate. If it wasn't the full moon, I would let it take my life as well by my own hand. What do you mean, take my wife? Skin Bible. Chapter of Venushka. Let's see. What is this? I don't like this name, Skin Bible. Go down for our entertainment? Uh, I know, I have to eventually. Let's see. No surprise, the very god of nature is the offspring of the two elder gods, Go Gro Goroth and Sylvian. Like the nature of mankind, the nature of Ven Venushka. Groot. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Gentle wind. Okay, the similarities between nature and mankind are fitting, as both grew up sucking the many bosoms of Sylvian, after all. Many bosoms? <laughs> okay. Vinshnushka and the representation of humanity, Almer, Ascendant, are considered equal, neither of them stand taller. I'm getting hungry, apparently, from reading. What is Vinushka is from the men to reap. It's just the nature reaps are old and wary. The mark of Venuska, oh my gosh, <laughs> raises otherworldly offenses of its wielder. The text includes the sigil of Venuska and how to use it. What does it do? There's a bed here if I wanted to sleep, I guess. <laughs> I killed a man and take his bed. <laughs> I took his house. All right, chat. I'm going to probably heal first. I need to find some way to heal better. 
Oh gosh. Whatever's supposed to be inside. You just read that and it offers offense? What do you mean? You're talking about Venuska? Oh gosh. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna walk while <laughs> squinting my eyes because I'm a little scared. Oh gosh. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Just I can do this. Feeling hungry, pressure plate. What do I do with that? Oil. Oh, is it good? Okay, okay, chat. When you're scared, do you hold your breath? Is that a good idea or is that a bad idea? Do, do, sh should I be holding my breath? Oh gosh. Oh. <sighs> I also do that, but is it bad? Like, should I not be holding my breath? What is this? Oh, <laughs> what is that to the right? Dead old lady, she seems to be holding tight to a piece of paper. Check the paper. And blood. I'll reunite with my lover on the other side. She's been dead for a while, judging by the look of her. Her head's been bashed in with, and her wrist has been cut open. Can't tell which one led to her demise. She doesn't seem to have anything valuable. Why can't I focus better when de do that? No oxygen to the brain, so you don't think? Okay, so I should be breathing. Okay, if I'm scared, I should breathe. Ramblings of a nonsense. Okay, don't. Okay, I thought if I step on that, bad things happen. Book of Enlightenment. Let's see, a mysterious text. Okay, sure. What is this? The book radiates lights around every corner of the spectrum. You feel like your journey has just begun as if your existence since the very moment has been watching someone else entirely. You feel a perspective shift in your surrounding as if everything ha was to shrink and perhaps you were to ascend higher. Get a better understanding of yourself, the link between your mind and the start of deterioration. Oh, free save? Oh, is this unlimited free saves? Get closer to enlightenment. Oh. <laughs> it crumbles to the dust. I should have... <laughs> Chat, if I reload, fight the axe man and come back here, can I get that? Can I get that again? Or is it randomized? It's randomized, isn't it? Draw a sigil. Should I draw the sigil? It's really valuable? Not anymore, apparently. Do I do this? This seems like a bad idea. Okay, okay. Just let me breathe. We gotta start making it's about the learning process. We gotta we gotta start taking big steps. Okay. What did I do? Oh! Okay. What was the point in that? Groot likes you more? Okay. <laughs> what did I do? Is there a tree sticking out somewhere? There is. Does it go all the way to the top floor? Oh, oh! What the heck did that do? Do I climb it? I'm late, but I'm here late. I used the Book of Enlightenment package. Does it? Are you proud of me? I didn't know what it did. Good evening. Hey. What's the point of this tree? What did that do? Okay. It's a tree. Was there a reason I should do that? Wasn't there another ritual circle over here? All right. Chat, really quick. What does what does getting favors with the gods do? Like if I'm if I'm getting favor from Venusha, Venushka, what does that do? Should I be using these ritual circles? I remember they said that as a one-time use. Should I do this? Oh, maybe I'll hold off on that. Maybe I should try to get the other god sigils. Sigils? Why not? All right, you're right. This is game. This game is all about trial and error. All right, let's figure it out and see what it does. Let's see what happens if we get full favor with Venusha. So I guess Venusha summons trees. Oh, I could climb up. Where 
Where does this lead me to? We're being saved, the planted. Yeah, we're, we're saving the world, chat. We're we're saving the earth. Oh gosh, should I be up here? Okay, this is threading unknown territories, chat. I don't know what's what's gonna come up. Small brain's going crazy. My small brain's going crazy. That looks like a trap. I don't think I want to walk into leaves. They're yellow for a reason. Oh, oh this trap! <laughs> I got caught. <laughs> the owl cultist follows your every move curiously. Okay, let's break those arms of his. Say goodbye. I also got scared. <laughs> Say goodbye to your arms. Oh. His arms are pretty uh, durable, aren't they? What's he gonna do? Kick me? Okay. So far, so good, chat. I was gonna go to the mansion, but I guess we could explore this area. At least with the mansion, I know what's going on there. This guy is durable. Am I in a later area? Like, is this like a... Is this like Dark Souls? Is this game like Dark Souls? Lucky coin, nice. Is this game like Dark Souls where, um, essentially, essentially all the areas are interconnected one way or another? All right, I gotta be careful of those leaf piles. What the? Oh, it's those dogs again. Well, I can handle it. I have white vials, right? But they don't give anything. I can't even take their heads because they're headless. All right. Oh gosh, they keep following me. They keep following me. Leave me alone. <laughs> Did you see that? I juked him. Sort of juked him. Oh, I can't go up there. Guess we have to fight the dog. Chad, don't look. I gotta, I gotta fight the doggy. Let's go for a fast kill. All right, nice. Oh, the other dog's coming. Wait, I don't want the axe. Is the axe better for her though? She can't use wrench toss with an axe, can she? Leave me alone, doggy. Leave me alone. <laughs> Alright, imagine throwing an axe at your enemy. <laughs> Nothing can stop me now. Okay. Do these dogs really have nothing? <sighs> at the very least, they're not too hard to deal with. I like how I'm going around punching things. <laughs> this is the Jojo way. I even have escape plan. I have I'm a full Jotaro. I'm a full Jojo character now. Will totally draw axes at people? I always thought that's like a cool skill in game. Like when you have your barbarian and they have like the ability to draw their axes at enemies. Like tomahawks. I think that's a really cool ability in a way. Oh maybe I'm hungry. I think I'm hungry. Yeah. Let's go eat some uh bread. Mmm. <laughs> Ron Roydon from Limbus Company. <laughs> can you eat moldy bread? I imagine you can't. Like, I know like sometimes, um, sometimes I forget to finish my bread and sometimes it grows mold, but usually I just cut off the mold off the bread and eat the rest of the bread. <laughs> but can you eat the mold directly? What is this, a frog? Hmm. I can technically eat it. Another frog? Okay, that looks dangerous. What's up here? Oh, Chaz, this curiosity kills the cat kind of situation. Am I... What's this? Am I, like, dreading deeper into scary places? Ammo? That's it? Nothing else? There's still mold on, on the bread. You just don't see it. There probably is. But mold is just, like, another mushroom, isn't it? Isn't it, like, just, like, mushrooms? Gosh, I don't want to deal with this. Oh, you got shot by a poison needle, what? Are they hiding? They're shooting me. All right, let's not, let's just go around. 
Oh, I see him. I see him. I see that jerk. All right. It's Bob and Weave. We don't have any more healing items, though. That's what scares me. Okay. This drop melody. <gasps> what is that? <laughs> Owl Sprite? Am I dead? Is this where I die? I train my body to be immune by bullets by shooting myself? You missed my story earlier, Package, from talking about how I had a friend that used to punch walls to get stronger. <laughs> That's exactly that. I don't have any more healing potions. Take a step forward. What does that do? Heads or tails? Oh gosh. Heads? Okay, nice. Dodge its beak? Oh. Oh, Chad, I'm dead. Do you see my health right now? Eating paper is good. Okay. I feel like I'm super dead now. Maybe I'm not supposed to be doing this. I love watching Ella forgetting God. Ah, you're right. I forgot I have glass shards. <laughs> All right, this is an emergency. We might have to use, start using these blue herbs. Okay. 10 shilling, thank you. Okay, let's just... The edge, the border. So we don't accidentally like trigger another one of those men. Oh, oh, oh! Huh? Wait a second. Doesn't- didn't she break her legs? What are you doing here? I got boys sitting around- you can't walk! Unless she's- I'm botanist, you see? I have a condition, you see? Oh, I try to go with the other option, but I keep skipping. Wanna tag along? I have a condition. Now that I can move around freely, it would be good to see what's happening around here. Suspicious. Should we follow her? Hmm. I, I feel like she's a fake. Considering the other Olivia has, like, she can't walk. What are you doing? No, she is a fake. You think this is a fair fight? Why would you do this? Want me to scratch your eyes out? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I don't know how strong this person is. Oh, I forgot to equip my item again. Chat, don't look at me. I keep forgetting about my my wrench. Skin skill, stealer energy. Metal mist. What is that? Toxic mist. No, I'm I'm poisoned all over again. Here we go again. Chat, if I die here, I have to go back to my last save, don't I? Not poison, but worse. What does that mean? How, what is worse than poison? Do you see how much damage my poison is doing to me? Oops. Okay. Alright, we killed her. Ooh. Mix of red and blue herbs and green herbs. Toxin is 15. Goodbye. <laughs> Am I dead? We got Olivia's head. Nice. Nice. I can mix herbs now, chat. Oh, I used up all my blue herbs. I was a fool. What does this do, though? Red and green. Blue and red. Okay. What does this do? So, let's see what we got. We got blue vial. That's dirty heal, which is good. We got mixed herbs. <gasps> Oh, I should have mixed all the blue with red. I have a couple red ones too, right? Oh no, I only had one. Oh, interesting. So white vial does all that. So I should use that if I have a lot of status effects. What is what is Abella afflicted with, chat? 
Can you tell me what what status effect that is? I might just have to heal both of us, honestly. Like, what is that status effect? Nausea? Okay. The run is safe, chat. <laughs> I knew there was something suspicious. She... Olivia has no legs! Where am I now? Perheval ruins streets? That doesn't look good. I'm guessing if I step on those, it kills me, right? No legs, no walkies. So you kind of just wasted a white ball. And heals you, did it? Oh. Oh, you're right then. What's that? There's someone to crouch over there. Is there a person in there? Oh, don't look at me like that. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna make my way. Oh! There's a tall man wearing what seems to be a rubber mask. Oh, oh, oh. Here I am busy with my old business, completely ignoring this beautiful chap. He's called me beautiful. You know what? I I still don't like you. You could call me Pocket Cat. You have one of those familiar faces. I feel like we met somewhere before. Perhaps in a past life. Maybe? Things sure have changed, haven't they? We live in peculiar times. The world has gone through darkness. The world has been at a standstill and a deep rest. People stocked up toilet paper and hid in their homes. Oh, he's talking about the virus. They were waiting for the glimpse of light that just because they knew that even the darkness has a breaking point with their toilet paper. Uh, what do you think follows intense darkness? Light? It has to be light. More peaceful times, right? I remember that you're an internal optimist. That's the reason I love you. <gasps> he loves me, chat! From personal experience, I say true darkness is followed by chaos. The mind and the common conscious, we all strive for something new. When one truly is done with darkness, one strives for new with such vigor that growing pains are inevitable. But there lies the danger. You can see chaos can ragdoll us into any one direction. The direction and it's not always towards the light. Sometimes one can find themselves lost in a limbo that is the chaos. When you enter the limbo from a dark place, there's a big chance you can contaminate that chaos with your darkness and just create a new pitch black space. Blacker space. I guess I'm just rambling here. Let my wine wander and mouth slander, as they say. You know me. When I get excited, I can go on and on. I didn't mean to take your time. From what I understand, you got full hands. Your hands full with the festival already. I'll get to the straight to the point. I'm not only a wandering gentleman, but I'm also a head salesman of sorts with deep, deep pockets. What's a head salesman, do you ask? Well, it's exact, exactly what it sounds. I'm willing to part with my valuable collection of, if the price is right. Oh, do you want some shillings? Oh, severed heads? <laughs> Macabre, I know, but you get used to it. God, no, I did. This is what I had to offer, a nice collection, even if I say so myself. Oh, I have a consistent head. Oh, I could buy a save. Oh, wait, that costs three, doesn't it? I could buy Akamiya. Should I save? Hmm. I feel like the Alchemia might come in handy, right? Having more things that I could craft? I can't buy the Book of Enlightenment. It costs three heads. Hmm. You have Volume 1? Yeah, I got it from that that faker. I caught you, you fake hedgehog! Let's buy Alchemia too. Okay. Happy to do business with you. It's truly a pleasure to meet you once again, but I fear I must go for now. So should I be cutting off the contestant heads? Is that what he's telling me? If you continue east of here, it's quite a hike. If you continue eastward, you'll get to the vet church eventually. Just beyond the church's hidden passage, you'll find a tower. Mmm, heads. A special deal for you. Ooh, my pockets are quite deep. I, d I guess that's why they call you Pocket Cat. Okay. What can I make now? Yellow vial and oil and golden chanterlet. The sticky the smell is very salty, but it might be edible. Sure. Oh, the music is nice. I like this intense music. We got murky vial. A file full of murky liquid, highly flammable. Okay. Let's see. It smells very salty, might just be edible. What does it do? Can I eat it? Does it fill my hunger? What's the point of the yellow vial? What was that? 
Oh, that guy has a gun. Okay. This guy has a gun too. Am I still do nothing? Point blank. Oh, he takes a shot. Uh, let's use a coin here. <laughs> but we missed anyway, so it's fine. It's fine. Let's tear his arm off. It missed twice. <laughs> it's supposed to fill hunger. It didn't fill my hunger though. Okay. This guy's not so tough. He's just a normal human. He's just human. <laughs> Those other things were not human. They were cultists. This guy's just a human with a gun. Okay. Can I take his gun? His rifle seems to be broken. He wasn't carrying a rifle, though. There is a guy in the middle that has a rifle, though. We should charge that guy, though. Yeah, see him? He has a rifle. Let's see what's in here, though. Oh gosh, let's not see what's in here. Let's not see what's in there. <laughs> I'd rather deal with this guy and his gun. Let's charge him from the side. Oh, he sees me. Huh. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, I want some more party members. <laughs> how do I get- how do I get more party members? I feel lonely. It's just me and Abella. I don't know how long we could stand. Smack him with your wrench. Cut him apart. Oh, are you kidding me, Abella? You deserve that. Okay. He's dead. Okay, anything on him? Oh man, I don't think I'll be able to make it back to the train. I had to go through that forest again, and I don't know if I want to go through that forest again, honestly. <laughs> okay. Oh, these landmines blend in really well. I almost didn't see it. I'm just gotta take it very carefully. I wanna start to feel hungry. Oh gosh. Okay. What's that thing? Maybe we should heal really quick. Uh, I don't know if I want to give a Bella a full heal though. That's a big heal. Are we equipped? Armstrong? Oh, I get it. You're right. He is Armstrong. All right. The half cocoon man <laughs> swings his mallet furiously. All right. He has a mallet. Let's bob and weave. All right. Um. Let's take out his arm. His arm looks like a- No, don't say it like that! Meat mallet. Ooh, ooh! 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 Let's counterattack! Abella, I'm sorry! Counterattack. Slam. He is slamming me with his arm. But little does he know, the mallet is- Okay, let's take that mallet out. That mallet does like 40 damage. That's crazy. Okay. So mallet <laughs> I kinda wanna restart, but I I, I got it so far. I got it so, I got it so far with so many items. I don't know, is Abella worthy sacrifice? Let's cut his dong off. Does counterattack just last forever? Wait a second. I'm noticing that counterattack seems to last forever. Uh, what do I do about Abella? Here lies Abella, can I cut her head off? I'm sorry, Abella. Oh, oh, what is that? <laughs> uh, can they step on the landmine? Oh. Alright, at least I could get this. What'd you expect? Oh my gosh. I thought I could just fight one at a time. Can we just escape? How do I escape? Get me out of here. I'll let ya. Oh, 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 oh. We are dancing right now. I'm stuck on a rock. Oh. Let's not go that way. Let, let, let's, let's not go that way. Let's go this way. 
Do I want to sacrifice Abella? I feel kind of bad for sacrificing Abella. Do I want to sacrifice Abella? Or should I restart my save? They will trigger traps like bear traps right away. Oh, okay. So maybe I should set like a booby trap for them then. All right, let's 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 go back through. I didn't want to go through the forest because I was afraid that something was going to get me. But I guess since I killed everything, I don't know. If, chat, what do you think? Do you think we should restart for Abella? Should we get her back? It's one of your first runs. Just go crazy. I don't know how many runs of this game I'll be doing, though. Because we only have, uh, it's October. I'm only going to play until the end of October. Maybe I'll play it after I finish Idol Manager. But we'll see. There's so many games I want to play. Okay. Let's go. Let's go to that one place I do know what's going on. The mansion. I'm sorry, Abella. I guess we got to keep moving forward. Oh, I feel terrible. I killed Abella. She was my trusted friend. She held an axe. Or no, she had a wrench in her hand. Oh, hi, I'm a little late. You're a little late. <laughs> Don't worry. I I wasn't scared or anything. I was really brave. Right, chat? All right, let's go fight. Should we fight the vile? The, the, the what's it called? The pig mask guy? I remember fighting him before. And I remember... What's it called? I remember there was a fast way to kill him, but I just don't remember how to do it. Golosh. Okay, we'll fight him. I think it was like if we talk to him, right? What was that? Can't make any sense to the words because of the mask. Uh, what was that? trying to answer you but you can't you cannot make any sense of his words because of that mask what was that <laughs> breathe 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 <laughs> files lucy is cool because of your lack of understanding i think this is the way to do it he lifts his mask his melt has seemed to melted on the, his face partially but underneath you see a sharp row of teeth um this double coin i think this is like a coin flip to kill him right yeah only the vile gas leaking from the canister <laughs> yeah Cough, cough, cough. He's coughing blood. Easy. We did it. What was that? What's that? Who's this guy? Oh, chat. I don't have any more run. Oh, what's that thing over there? Now I have run. What is this thing? The thing looks like the thing from Bleach. I never. I don't know Bleach. I guess we're going around. Do I want to fight something I've never seen before? Smiley face. He might be friendly. Cyan. I know you're trying to sabotage me. Can I eat goat? I think he kind of likes you. We need to cut that guy's head off. And also we saw that we saw some sort of thing there. Didn't look like it was chasing me. So maybe it's a friendly NPC. I think Molt, 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 do like you. Yeah. We don't pass him. Okay, he's not here. Arm and a leg. Why does everybody have an arm and a leg? All right. Let's see. Can we talk to this person without triggering that other guy? Please. Oh, try to get behind get behind the town of Prehevel, aren't we? The man of Kaiser blocked his place off. It's off limit. Who's got the key? The old marital town got one. He meddled with them army boys, but I heard the mayor kick the bucket. A new one just got here. Not that we got him election. The other key is with the Kaiser. They got some business in the forest. <laughs> okay. I now leave. Alright. Take care, Cyan. Uh, what time is it? Oh, it's it's time for me to go too, but let's go do the mansion really quick. I gotta consider, do I wanna save the game? Maybe I'll make a separate save file and we'll see. They have hands like Kira. Do they? Kira Kira? Okay. 
We gotta turn turn this head in. You from USA? Yep, I am a full grown American sheep. I am a hundred percent top graded material sheep. Okay. Oh, should we go in here? I guess we have to, don't we? There's a towering waiter greeting here. Good afternoon, Master. From what I understand, you're a newcomer to this town too, no? We just got a new bay here town. I'm sure he is thrilled to start his business immediately by meeting the newcomers. That sounds like some tasty meat. <laughs> Do not eat sheep. <laughs> you go eat the other che che sheep in the chat. You guys are sheepies after all. He's waiting in the dining room. Okay. I remember this. Books. Preheval document. Let's see. Looking back at the history of this place, there has been a settlement here for as long as history books cover the area. It's always been centered around the mysterious hollow tower that works a... that works a... or as the t central tower of the community. Come in to meet you! No! This sheep... <laughs> Give me a second. You may think this sheep is an easy picking, but let me tell you, this sheep has horns. And that's not all this sheep has. This sheep has a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Not today, chat. <laughs> you have a gun? <laughs> I guess we're now in a Mexican standoff. I do it. <laughs> is that what they call it? Or is it just a standoff? Isn't a Mexican standoff like three people have a gun pointing at each other? I understand a city is a medium in size as far as cities in Eastern Europe go. Europa go. But I still find it hard to believe that this place serves as any kind of hub for a civilized world. <laughs> Your gun too. <laughs> you know, one day there's gonna be something that can eat metal. Something that's not like a substance, like ass or anything. Oh, I didn't read this at all. If you go to Preheval, sightsee in the small center, you see a glimpse of its glory days. Hmm. Do not let the Western style shopping district with its latest post movie posters and advertisements fool you. I kinda wanna be in the city now. Sounds kind of nice. Ritualistic murder sites are around the corner. I mean, I guess, yeah, maybe not as nice. Ancient gods without names in any known language still linger in the crypts. Why wouldn't they? You could hear the priests chant their mass in the moonlight alleys during the dead of night. The whole wicked city is a playground for ancient beings and the people live, living there offer themselves to the first taker without second thought. April's math homework. <laughs> Was there a particular reason that you did that? Ooh, chapter of Gro Groth. Gro Gro Goth. Okay, let's go see what that is. Gro Gro Groth. Okay, destroy your man, he who ushers. Why is there a pineco pig? <laughs> is he supposed to have a giant like dong there? Paper does look tasty. I mean, it depends. I mean, paper is edible when you think about it. The word destruction is often associated with the evil of the world. This, of course, is foolishness. There is no creation for new creation if the sleigh is not first burned clean and empty. A man fears destruction, gets accustomed to peace and quiet. Man grows fat and afraid of change. Are we living in a, a time that's stale? The change is inevitable, just like Gro -Gro Grogarth. One thing to understand is that destruction is a pure kind. It does not target one man specifically, it just exists. Gro -Gro Groth is associated with the god of creation, Sylvian and their child, the god of nature, Vidnushka. Gro -Gro Groth offers to mankind the blessing of blood magic. Constant sacrifices in his name will maintain his relationship. Blood magic? Raises the physical strength of its wearer. The text includes the sigil of Gro -Gro Groth. Oh, I can't pronounce this. Gro -Gro Groth. Hmm, interesting. So I guess I get, I, I do that for power. I notice if I chew long enough, it gets a little sweet. <laughs> I mean, is that this? Ooh, God, chapter of the fear and hunger. Interesting. Let's go look for everything else first. Last Frontier, chapter one. I do need to get going, so. Chapter of Almir. Recipes. Okay, let's go. Let's go save the game. All right. Gr Gargura. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to call it that from now on. Wasn't there a bed here? All right, let's take a risk. I know we got a lot done, but let's take the risk to see if we can sleep in said bed without dying. Oh gosh, if I die, chat, this is your fault. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna sleep.
Okay. Oh, I should have. Oh, I should have sacrificed the head. Oh, don't look at the fact that Abella died. I'm sorry, Abella. Head to the tower. Okay. Let's make a separate save file. One where Abella is will be dead. And I don't have any more soul orbs. Oh. Is this Venushka? Roots that reap. Photosynthesis. Interesting. I guess I don't have. Okay, so I guess depending on the orbs. So I was like, level one I could do this. Level pyromancy trick. Why does he know pyromancy? It's nature. Brain flower, photosynthesis, greater synth photosynthesis, photosynthesis, photo. I can't pronounce that. Hmm, I could get some heals though. All right, chat. Let's call it here. We'll have to save it for next week. Let me go save one more time just for safe measures. Okay, and we'll leave. <laughs> Is it nighttime outside? Is it scary? Even more scary outside? Let me see how scary it is. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right, chat. Let's call it here. Oh, thank you guys for joining me. Thank you. Welcome, welcome to our Fear and Hunger stream. We'll be doing this next Saturday. We're going to do Fear and Hunger every Saturday until the end of October. And wherever we finish off is where we finish off until I decide to do another playthrough of it, okay? With that said, uh, let me go sit up in my chair. Let me go put some background music. So, thank you guys for joining me. It was a lot of fun. Oh! <laughs> I won't lie, that scared me. I was like, oh, did I left the game open? Or did something? <laughs> welcome, she Matthew, to the sheepies. I don't know if there's anybody here to give you the welcome greetings, but allow me to do it. Allow me to, to welcome you. Um... How do I do emotes again? I won't lie, it's been a while since I did this. Thank you, Fenner. Feed him up. Show him who's boss. Feed them up. There you go. <laughs> now that you're one of us, now that you are a sheepy, you too can beat up new members. Let me put some music on though. All right. So thank you guys for joining me. I love punches. Great. You just got to roll with it after all. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow... All this month is going to be horror month October. We're going to play as much horror games. Tomorrow is going to be convenience store. A different kind of game. I was thinking of doing the forest, but in the end I decided horror, or convenience store might be more convenient. Ha. Because it's a pretty short game, so I might be able to finish it in one stream. If we do finish it earlier, early, we might do like um, Fear and Hunger again. We'll see. We'll see. Either that or maybe World of Hunger. Hunger. We'll see what we do. Okay? I'll see what we do. With that said, um, let's do a raid. Let's see who we can raid. Oh, Sniffy's online. What is she doing online this late at night? <laughs> Let's go raid Sniffy. <laughs> is Sniffy <laughs> reading the B movie? Sniffy's reading the B movie. <laughs> All right, chat. Let's go join Sniffy. Convenience store? Yeah, it'll be fun. So... <laughs> <laughs> Since Snivy's reading, reading the B movie on stream, let's go raid her. Let's see. <laughs> Hello, fellow B. I see you are being good to yourself and the rest of the hive. <laughs> the B movie is a work of art <laughs> some call say it's a b rated movie just to be rated <laughs> but i but we be the sh be sheepies Believe that the B movie really stands above the B grade it is given for it is the beast. 
cheapy raid. We'll go ahead and play smiley face. All right, chat. There's your, there's your raid message. Hello, fellow bee. I see you are being good to yourself and the rest of the hive. The bee move, the bee movie's a work of art. <laughs> Some say it's a bee rated movie just to be rated. <laughs> but we bee sheepies believe that the bee movie really stands above the bee grade it's been given. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go raid Snivy. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for convenience store and tune in more uh, for the rest of the month for more scary games. All of October will be scary games. No idol manager, no drawing. Okay, be sure to follow my Twitter. Let me go write it down for further updates and such. And be sure to follow the YouTube channel and uh, Join us on Discord. And join, check out the webtoon. Check out Jupiter Man. Uh, smiley face. Poop. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for joining me. Have a good one. Take care. It was fun. I hope to play more Fear and Hunger and other things in the future. Bye bye, guys. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Be sure to be good to yourself or the beehive. Oh, beehive. Oh, that's it. Oh, I forgot to put that on the thing. Oh, chat, beehive yourself.